let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Lord God, we thank you on this blessed afternoon for giving us all the opportunity to gather for the final time as soon-to-be graduates of LaSalle College High School. We thank you for the many great experiences we have shared, the accomplishments we have achieved, and the brotherhood we have developed and embraced with pride. You have carried each and every one of us through this journey and helped us face the challenges we encountered. Along the way, we have learned many lessons that have shaped us into the men we have become, teaching us to be men of faith and compassion, intellect and accomplishment, integrity and respect, and service and justice has helped us to embrace the core values and ideals that will help us all make a positive impact on the world and those we come into contact with. Thank you greatly for the amazing support and love provided by our parents who gave us the opportunity to receive an education that goes beyond just academics. We entered to learn here at LaSalle. God, please continue to give us unconditional love and guidance as we carry out your mission by leading to serve this world you have created. Thank you for an amazing high school experience for me and for all my brothers of the class of 2019. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord, amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Lift Jesus in our hearts. Please remain standing. Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome, Brother James, Mr. O'Toole, members of the Board of Trustees, our faculty and staff, members of the class of 1969, family, friends, and my brothers of the class of 2019. Unfortunately, I don't have a story about encountering Jesus in the Cape May County Hospital like my friend Max, but hopefully I can at least met the precedent set by him on Thursday night. In fact, every time I heard someone speak over the last two weeks of school, I immediately thought to myself, oh my God, I need to put this in my speech. And of course, the thought immediately following that was, oh my God, I haven't started writing my speech. <laughs> I've been here for four years four years and everybody unanimously decides to start dropping whimsical words of wisdom in the few days leading up to the only time I have to say something important. <laughs> Despite some obvious setbacks and frustrations, my work began. And this sentence I'm reading right now took me about seven days to write. 
And you, say, you may say that's a week, but I say seven days sounds longer and has a bit more of a dramatic effect. Someone told me that this would be my time to shine. I can say whatever I want. I can go off the rails, I can ramble on, I can be dramatic, funny, serious, punctual. While this is true in part, I believe I owe it to my brother seated in front of me today to say something here, which I do hope will mean something to them. The worst words are wasted words, so I did try my very best, but I struggled to translate my sentiments into words that did them justice. I suppose that's the way things go. The more impactful and moving things are, the less words there are to describe them. And despite seemingly everyone else having a lot to say about these four years, I had very little words to describe them. Seven days passed with my thoughts unable to bridge across to paper. And to be honest, I got a little bit desperate. I considered resorting to a Harry Potter or Fortnite reference, which we all know is the basic, start basic starting point for any good LaSalle address. I resisted the temptation of following this template. After all, Mr. Young once said, leave the cliches at the door. So while our time here at LaSalle may be analogous to the plot of a popular novel, a recent superhero movie, or even a parable from the Bible, I think our time here as rare as any it belied with false compare. That is to say, our time at LaSalle stands and shines amongst the ranks of errors past simply because it is ours. It was your blood and sweat under those Friday night lights. It was your long van rides to serve the needy on homeless outreach. And it was your laborious nights long past 238 or 215 or 219 or 2 something perfecting the spring play. These past four years were ours. And though this time together slips from the present, the memories will be held firmly in our hearts forever. The world seems to spin faster and faster these days. The ground swells up beneath our feet and the wind's currents try to sweep us away. It's easy to lose your balance. To make things worse, high school spins us even faster. You need new friends. You have a new dress code, new teachers, new schedules. Your mom has to go back to work. You do homework for hours on end each night. You practice six days a week or twice a day. You're no longer the smartest kid in the room, and you're just worried about fitting in. It seems unnatural and even impossible how the world has shifted before your eyes, and how life itself seems to be set against you. It is disorienting and uncomfortable, even to think about. But it's where we began four years ago, and that's OK. It's where everyone begins. We all were spinning at one point. Yet as the world seems to spin faster and faster, and as we seem to spin faster with it, here we stand. We emerge from this institution as leaders, each of us in our own right, at a time when true leaders seem few and far between. We emerge as men of empathy, in a time when the world seems to have become more mechanical than merciful. We emerge as gentlemen in a time when teenagers face challenges the world has never seen before. It seems that we are the exception, not the rule, to senior classes across the nation. While we are a special group in many facets, I can not say it is some extraordinary quality we all possess to which we can completely attribute our perseverance. Nor do I believe there is something in the water at LaSalle. For as far as I'm concerned, the only water capable of granting supernatural abilities is in Yardley. I rather attribute our resilience to one simple thing that LaSalle does better than any other school in the country, build meaningful relationships. LaSalle is a place where teachers become mentors and peers become brothers, all through an immense amount of love and care. Every class had two divisions of curriculum, the subject at hand and the subject of life. Ms. Schustack, taught me how to multiply matrices, but also toughness and how to have pride in my work. Senor Bath taught me how to conjugate verbs, but also the importance of culture in our world. Mr. Holwick taught me how to write a good essay, but also the power of humor and lightheartedness. Mr. Hearn taught me about composition, balance, color, but also how to materialize my dreams into something meaningful. And Mr. Sapola taught me how to think, but also how to live passionately and never forget who you are. Every single teacher at this school has given us knowledge of academic value, but has also given us a rarer, a more beautiful knowledge about how to live life. I think a lot about how different things are now than they were freshman year, how different my own outlook on the world is. My mind then was stubborn, but now I stand before you with a healthy self-skepticism.
My heart then was uninterested, but now I care for every single one of my brothers seated before me more than I ever thought possible. My words then got lost in the crowd, but now I'm the only one speaking. It is true, we were all different then, and it is undeniable how we have changed. After all, we grew up here, and we grew up with each other. Benny the Jet and Squints had the Sandlot, Holden Caulfield had the streets in New York, and we had 8605 Cheltenham Avenue. You don't get to choose where, when, or with who you grow up. Some people don't grow up until they're too old to reach back out to the world, and even worse, some people never grow up. These four years and these men beside you are a most special gift. Four years ago, we gathered for the first time, and now we gather for the last. I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't miss this place, but I said earlier this year that LaSalle is not a place. It is a people. It is a people who genuinely care for you and me. It is a people who seek to leave the world a better place than how they found it. It is a people that never puts anything second to love and learning. LaSalle is not a place. It is all of us. No matter what winds may blow or how fast the world spins, these friendships, these memories, and this brotherhood we have formed here will persevere. So here I am at the end of the speech, at the beginning of the end of high school. I've thrown everything I've got at you. A Mr. Young quote, a paraphrasing of one of Shakespeare's sonnets, a Sandlot reference, I even tried to get you to feel bad for me at the beginning. <laughs> all of this just to get you for a second to look back at all the good memories and the good times this place has given us. But the reality of it is, I can't tell you what LaSalle means to you. I just can't. Believe me, I wish I could. I probably wouldn't have stayed up until two the other night writing, trying to figure it out. I can't say what echoes you'll hear from these halls, but it's time for you to decide what these memories mean to you, because it is our memories which will inspire our future. Thank you. Gentlemen, in an hour or so, each of you will become one of us, a loyal alum of LaSalle. Fifty years ago, we were in your gowns, graduating down at the grotto on a hot June day. Our four fulfilling years at LaSalle gave way to Vietnam. A man on the moon, long hair, Woodstock, colleges, student deferments, and student protests before that summer of 69 was over. A rewarding and stabilizing experience on Sheltonham Avenue was shattered by the reality of a spinning world that suddenly made our four years here just a blurred memory. We went our separate ways, as you will soon, to your own Woodstocks and your own colleges, but hopefully not your own Vietnams. So much to experience, and LaSalle was in our rearview mirror, getting smaller and smaller as we sped away. Unbeknownst to us, at graduation, a sanctuary lamp was lit in our collective hearts. It was a blue lamp with a gold flame, and that lamp guided us away from LaSalle as we headed out into the world. That lamp continued to burn and would light our path back to LaSalle decades later as we reconnected with each other, each sharing stories of our journeys after graduation and rekindling old friendships. We have returned to LaSalle from Flower Town in Florida, East Norton and West Virginia, Conshohocken and Colorado, Wynwood and Wisconsin, Seagirt and Syracuse, Carlisle and California, and Jersey and Japan. 50 years from now, you just may welcome a classmate back from the colony on Mars. Now you may look at me in our class and see a bunch of broken down old men. <laughs> but when
When we look at each other, we see you, a strong, proud group of 18-year-olds, a brotherhood that will last forever. We were immortal at our graduation, but our immortality was a physical illusion, <laughs> as we've now incurred the loss of 27 of our classmates. However, those deaths have brought us spiritually closer to each other, and our gatherings are precious events as we get older. These gatherings will become precious for you as well. So as we, the class of 1969, salute you on your graduation from LaSalle, we also welcome you as LaSalle alumni and hope that your life's journeys will ultimately head back toward each other and toward LaSalle. Thank you. At this time, we will now present the awards for academic excellence for the class of 2019. For our first two awards, I would ask each of the recipients to please stand and be recognized when your name is called. The LaSalle College High School Vice Marshal Medal and $500 grant goes to the senior with the second highest scholastic average over four years. As introduced by Mr. O'Toole at the baccalaureate mass on Thursday evening, this year, the Vice Marshal Award goes to Joseph Lamort. The LaSalle College High School Marshall Medal and $500 grant goes to the senior with the highest scholastic average over four years. This award is supported by the Robert S. Blasey Family Trust. Also introduced on Thursday evening, our recipient this year is Matthew Early. We will now recognize the recipients of the Departmental Academic Excellence Awards. When your name is called, please come forward to receive your medal. The LaSalle College High School Medal for the Study of Religion goes to Martin Mannion. Next, we have the LaSalle College High School Medals for Science. In biology, the award first goes to Matthew Early. For biology and chemistry, the awards go to Joseph Lamort. In environmental science, the award goes to Owen Breen. <laughs> Next, the Robert J. Russell Award for Physics, in addition to the Bernard A. McDermott Medal for Mathematics, both go to Tianlu Huan.
the LaSalle College High School Medal for Networking goes to Clay Donahue. The LaSalle College High School Medal for Engineering Design goes to Dylan Landis and Matthew Zilligan. The LaSalle College High School Medal for Multimedia Production goes to Ethan Edwards and Liam Turnbach. The LaSalle College High School Medal for Programming, in addition to the William F. Connolly Medal for English, go to Ian Self. The Michael A. O'Toole, class of 1968, Medal for Creative Writing, goes to Cameron Deshnan. The LaSalle Mothers Club Medal for Two-Dimensional Art goes to Shea Deal. The Joseph W. Wesner Class of 73 Medal for Three-Dimensional Art goes to Kurt Wesner. The Tina Glacken Memorial Art Scholarship of $500 for the student who exhibits an extraordinary appreciation of the arts and has excelled in art classes goes to Daniel Horan. The LaSalle College High School Medals for Music go to Philip Baldessari, Gregory Cutajar, and Luke Latsis. The LaSalle College High School Medal for Chorus goes to Daniel Cassidy. The Sal Ponte Class of 52 Medal and $500 Grant for Theater first goes to Jack Kennedy. Sal Ponte, class of 52 medal and 500 grant, dollar grant for theater in addition to the brother Renee Sterner FSC medal for forensics go to Joseph Fleur.
that David T. Deal, class of 55, Medal for Economics, goes to Nicholas LaRosa. LaSalle College High School Medal for Government goes to Martin Mannion. The LaSalle College High School Medal for History goes to Max Flynn. The LaSalle College High School Medal for Psychology goes to Joseph Lamort. <laughs> the William T. Connor Medal for Social Studies in addition to the LaSalle College High School Medal for Chinese, go to Peter Taylor. The LaSalle College High School Medal for French goes to Christopher Biddle. The Linda A. Donahue Medal for Italian goes to Matthew Catanzariti. The Brother Emilian FSC Medal for Latin goes to Casey Jeffress. <laughs> the Brother William Riley FSC Medal for Spanish goes to Timothy Moxie. The Drew Panettiere Award and scholarship grants for students who embody selflessness, love, and friendship go to Emmanuel Freire. and the Hartzell Family Award for a student in the David program in recognition of perseverance and strong positive conviction to God, family, and school goes to Lloyd Armour. at this time to recognize certain special awards for members of the class of 2019. As I call your name, please come up and be meddled by Brother James.
The Men of LaSalle Loyalty Medal and $500 grant is awarded to Liam John Turnbach. First Lieutenant Travis J. Mannion, USMC, class of 99, Memorial Medal and $500 grant for the senior scholar athlete is awarded to Conrad Kishka. The LaSalle College High School Alumni Association Award and $500 grant to the graduating senior who has best embodied over four years the principles of loyalty, commitment, generosity, and camaraderie is awarded to Shea Rittenhouse Deal. Dr. Edward A. and Beatrice C. Dahowski Senior Medal and $500 grant for the student who best exemplifies the principles of St. John Baptist de La Salle and the Christian Brothers is awarded to Martin Theodore Mannion. The John McShane Medal and $500 grant to the student who has worked hardest to bring credit to LaSalle College High School is awarded to Jake Edward Dahowski. The William A. Meehan Esquire Class of 1944 award and $1,000 grant for outstanding community service is awarded to Andrew Jacob Miles. The LaSalle College High School Spirit Award and $500 grant for the student who has worked the hardest to promote a healthy sense of participation and enthusiasm for the full range of activities at LaSalle is awarded to John B. Locke. It's my privilege at this time to introduce President LaSalle, Brother James Butler. Thank you very much, Mr. O'Toole. Parents and uh, grandparents, brothers and sisters, relatives, reverend clergy, devoted religious, friends of LaSalle, colleagues, I ask your indulgence as I speak at this point, primarily and for the last time before your status at LaSalle changes to alumni. Let me greet you as I have these past four years. Man of LaSalle College High School. They're meant to keep, help keep some organization or product uppermost in our minds, aren't they? Taglines, those short, easy on the ear sayings we're supposed to associate with a brand. America runs on Duncan, for example, or I'm loving it. Where I see interminable lines, ridiculous prices, unbearable humidity, torrential downpours, and mos mosquitoes, the brand specialists would have me believe I'm in the happiest place on earth. While just do it could be the tagline with the most staying power, I will protect this house, probably doesn't violate our contract. It occurs to me though, that the class of 2019 may be the first in the history of LaSalle College High School to have its own tagline, its unique brand identity 
refined throughout the year. After its brief gestation in the Twitter sphere, the line, so much winning, has achieved widespread and clear identification with your class. And surely it fits. In 2016 and 17, the competition band won the cavalcade of bands, while in 2019, the lab band took its division. You have nine PCL hubcaps to your credit this year, with the Flyers Cup and a state hockey championship to top that off, and we're still in the game in two sports. Over your four years, you have never known what it is not to be PCL champs in golf, cross country, indoor track, swimming, spring track and field, volleyball, tennis, and lacrosse. Since fall 2015, LaSalle has appeared in the finals in the remaining six sports at least once, often bringing home a victory, as we have at the state level in cross country and swimming along with hockey. Topped over speech and debate, model UN, and mock trial, that is indeed so much winning. And today is the last day anyone you meet would likely care quite so much about it. Several grandfathers here today could go on about LaSalle football's 1955 upset city championship victory versus Northeast High. Top row, third from the right. But they clearly outnumber the number of graduates willing to spend 20 minutes hearing about it. That's how these things go. So we need to replace your class's tagline. But with what? I'll make three quick suggestions for your considerations while you become alumni. First, so much dedication. You've shown it in about everything you've done these past four years. Keep it up. An 80-hour work week doesn't seem long when you're doing something you love. And the ages you spend rehearsing long stick MIDI drills with your son will seem like a snap of the fingers when he makes LaSalle's mark at varsity as a sophomore. The many engineering majors among you will likely groan so much physics around 3 a.m. at some point in sophomore year. When you're with Engineers Without Borders promoting infrastructure safety throughout the developing world, the gratitude will drown out the groans. What will dedication look like going forward? Find some material for reflection in what Mr. Miller's four decades of classroom service suggests. Get some insight from what you've picked up as the last class to have Mr. Fike as dean for four years. Second, so much brotherhood. The word appears on many t-shirts, is oft repeated by the Kai High while that status lasts, and is rarely missing from senior banquet speeches in the second half of the year. But is it real? We'll find out how soon in how you respond to your first classmate who comes home from college mid-year, burdened by anxiety, depression, or addiction. We'll see 25 years from now when you figure out how to include the first among you who's lost his wife to all, all the couple's activities that are a part of that stage of life. What will brotherhood look like 50 years from now? It looks something like the bond exhibited among the gentlemen sitting behind you. If it looks like that, then maybe those class ties were knotted to last back in 2015. Finally, and most importantly, so much faith. Upon leaving this space, I'm conscious a few of you might think, well, one thing's for sure. That's the last time I'll ever have to pray. Perhaps, but probably not. The invitation may come as early as your first Sunday night at Penn State, when a sweet mate invites you to go with him to the Newman Center for Mass. It might appear as you and your wife look at your six-month-old son, then at each other, saying simultaneously, you know, I think it would make your mother happy if we had him baptized. <laughs> It could even arrive three decades from now when your son comes home talking about my religion teacher, Mr. McCabe. He's so old, he must have been there when you were a kid. 
He taught us these sayings that go before and after every prayer. Were they even invented when you went to LaSalle? <laughs> At such a moment, perhaps, you'll appreciate how throughout the years you've lived, always and everywhere, in the holy presence of God. And that's faith. And I have faith that the same God who created you has a broader perspective than even the one I now enjoy. He sees the potential, the opportunity, and the promise. He sees creativity blossoming, relationships sustained, lives transformed, perhaps even a church rebuilt through the dedication, brotherhood, and faith your lives will evidence. And what's his verdict? Anticipating such a powerful goodness unleashed? No doubt, the divine calculus reckons it as so much winning. God bless you always, gentlemen. Brother James and Mr. O'Toole, the class of 2019 seated before you has completed the program of studies in fulfillment of our graduation requirements. On the recommendation of the faculty, I present them to you to receive their diplomas. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the Board of Trustees of LaSalle College High School, and upon the recommendation of the administration and faculty, a diploma of graduation is conferred upon each member of the class of 2019 who has successfully completed the prescribed program of studies at LaSalle College High School. At this time, I'm joined by Mr. Coggins again, and we will call upon the homeroom moderators and homerooms to come forward to receive their diplomas. We'd ask everyone to please hold their applause until all students within each homeroom have been recognized. Will Mr. Tony Michikowski and the members of homeroom 1D please come forward? Anton Abrams. Luke Baldini. Owen Breen. Christopher Carr. Jake Dahowski. Ryan Deagle. Andrew Ecker. Ethan Edwards. Michael Gelati. Paul Grevy. Daniel Horan. Sean Keevney. John Klohacker. John Laka. Matthew Law. Michael Loftus. James McGee. Connor Matthews.
Sean McKenna. John Meyer. Samuel Mulvey. Timothy Paul. Daniel Reagan. Bradley Ruder. John Shutta. Ian Self. Sean Throwfall. Zachary Topalovich. Kurt Wesner. Matthew Zilligan. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Mr. Bill Donahoe and the members of Homeroom 2D please come forward? Olawale Adegboyega. Winston Barnes. Sean Brogan. David Caradarini. Sean Daly. Shay Deal. Matthew Eckert. John Giuliani. <laughs> Daniel Habush. Francis Joyce. Matthew Colonis. Owen Lawn. John Ru Lin. Rory Loftus. Seamus McGuire. Christopher Matthews. Keegan McLaughlin. Thomas Mayer. Brian Nolan. Brendan Pierce. Owen Rank. Luke Santangelo. Harrison Sharp. Christian Suter. Julian Torres. Griffin Wytosik.
Dawson Zerping. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Mr. Bernie Fitzgerald and members of Homeroom 3D please come forward. Shane Agnew. Luke Barnett. Connor Brown. Shane Castle. Gregory Cooper. Aiden Davis Diaz. Clay Donahue. Daniel Esterkin. Max Flynn. Mark Fasesca. Jake Goodwin. Cole Hamill. Jack Howley. John Luby. Stephen Mallon. Ian Matson, Sean McCallum, Cameron Mitchie, James Nolan. Grant Pinto. Matthew Poole. Albert Rausch. Ethan Schatz. Zehen Cheng. Matthew Zeckley. Declan Tuffy. Nathan Williamson. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Mrs. Diana Mackinaw and the members of Homeroom 4D please come forward? William Altier. Derek Beavers. Daniel Cassidy. Michael Castonis. Connor Curran.
Owen DeAngelis. Khalil Diara. Tyler Dotcher. Brian Evans. Robert Foster. Maximilian Hansen. Juan Tian Lu. Larson Kalinowski. David Kratz. Brandon Leard. Andrew Lundston. Brett Malley. Jack McAdoo. Andrew Miles. Zachary O'Connor. James Pedraza. Benjamin Rawson. Ronald Ross. Stephen Schmidt. Nicholas Shepard. Liam Turnbach. Alex Wilsey. Nicholas Wolfram. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Mrs. Stephanie Rothenberg and members of Homeroom 5D please come forward? Nicholas Anderson. Luke Barish. Joseph Kazizi. Casey DiCarlo. Robert Doherty. Michael Eastman. Colin Ewing. Craig Fox. Luke Hardy. Carl Huber. Kevin Keating. Sean Krumenacker. Edward Lemanowitz. Kyle Lotzis. Martin Mannion. Patrick McCartney. Lucas McNally.
Leland Mursky. Christopher Mekaitis. Cullen O'Donnell. Kellen Reiki. Dakota Cisco. Nicholas Vasallo. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Mrs. Meredith Mariani and the members of Homeroom 60 please come forward? Lloyd Armour. Titus Beard. Christopher Biddle. Jake Caddick. Matthew Catanzaridi. Zachary Chrysler. Tucker DeLuca. Michael Dowds. Emmanuel Frere. Brian Grady. David Gray. Jordan Heaton. Mark Igo. Gavin Kelly. Alexander Lapour. Luke Loxis. William Marcinkowski. Michael McDonough. Andrew Meitner. Sean Moran. Thomas O'Mara. Jack Porter. Zachary Reinhardt. Spencer Scholey. Roman Schmigel. Jonathan Tancredi. William Tatlong Harry. Owen Barrel. Matthew Wollstenholm. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Mr. Dan Williams and the members of Homeroom 7D please come forward?
Nicholas Azarano. Jack Campbell. James Crovo. Joseph Dempsey. Kyle Dowling. Jose Fernandez Duran. Brendan Frusco. Jason Greenwood. Connor Helm. Jack Kennedy. Matthew Lewis. Thomas Margiotti. Aiden Melanson. Gavin Moretzky. Nicholas Porter. Benjamin Rivera. Sebastian Scott. Liam Smith. Joseph Taylor. Benjamin Truitt. Vaughn Waldron. Liam Wright. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Mr. John Young and the members of Homeroom 8D please come forward. Grayson Baker. Macklin Borneman. Frank Chirico. Cameron Deshnad. Scott Finnegan. Brandon Gray. Ronan Higgins. Casey Jeffress. Joseph Kenzikowski. Joseph Lamour.
Dylan Landis. Nicholas Lavolsi. Kevin Lucas. Christopher Morosi. Robert McGoldrick. Austin Melanson. Timothy Moxie. Shane Osborne. Alan Powell. Zachary Roach. David Steinbeck. Peter Taylor. John Young. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Brother Bill DePasquale and the members of Homeroom 9D please come forward? <laughs> Zachary Baker. Nicholas Borelli. Daniel Choate. David Comerford. Marcus Kervin. Ethan Desmond. James Flanagan. Mark Gardella. Francis Gregor. Jackson Hope. Patrick Jennings. Robert King. Russell Livolsi. Harrison Lund. Anthony Morticella. Matthew McHugh. Patrick Moraz. Evan Parkhill. Manuel Quiles.
Chase Rondeau. William Seeley. Edwin Stitt. Quamaj Thompson. Christopher Watson. Ethan Zhao. Congratulations, gentlemen. Will Mr. Greg Bilecki and the members of Homeroom 10D please come forward? Philip Baldassari. Tori Bracken. Christopher Carenzo. Zachary Kaur. Gregory Cutajar. Colin Doyle. Matthew Early. Joseph Fleur. Paul Gantos. Wade Greger. Peter Hope. Jaden Johnson. Conrad Kishka. Nicholas LaRosa. Edward Loftus. Brandon Macklin. Kai Mascaro. Christopher Metzler. Paul Mueller. Dominic Petit. Thomas Quirk. Jack Rothenberg. John Cyberlick. Daniel Timoney. Dylan Welsh. Miles Wilson. Congratulations, gentlemen.
Good afternoon, everyone. Brother James, Mr. O'Toole, faculty and staff, members of the Board of Trustees and our Golden Explorers, friends and family, and most importantly, my fellow brothers, the class of 2019. It is hard to believe that nearly four short years ago, we embarked on not only a journey filled with school, teachers, and learning, but also a journey of change, growth, and brotherhood. Now look where we are, 2019. A year we heard about since we graduated in eighth grade in 2015, but never thought would come. Ever since the beginning of our time here on campus, 8605 Cheltenham Ave has been a place for each of us to call our home. Coming into freshman year, I'm sure we each had our own goals and aspirations as to what we would achieve by the time we left the South. For me, I thought I was going to be playing varsity soccer. <laughs> no. <laughs> However, Per usual, LaSalle had a different path in mind. Even before we set foot in the building, we heard a lot about the mysterious brotherhood we had yet to experience. From the very beginning at our welcome mass, Brother James even spoke of this special bond. I think he even mentioned how our future admiration and love of LaSalle, along with the bond we would feel towards our fellow classmates, would be so intense that we would be buried wearing our yet-to-be-received class ties. The death tie, as my dad and I affectionately refer to it as, <laughs> was just the tip of the iceberg. The awkward 14-year-old class of 2019 embarked on a path to winning like never before, with the ties we would wear to our funerals around our necks. <laughs> nice. Almost immediately, this brotherhood was felt through formal instruction given in group advisory by Mr. Resch, emphasizing the harms of false masculinity and teaching us how to be a real man or informal dialogue in the classroom. We began to truly learn what it takes to be a gentleman. And maybe it was Mr. C, screaming at us to sing the alma mater or ending our day at 2.15, in absence of our beloved X days in ninth period. Beloved. We also learned that everything that makes us unique is what makes us special. It might not be as cliche as that, but with our teachings rooted in the LaSallean mission, we are able to expand ourselves and create a whole person, a true gentleman. And this is something to be truly cherished. LaSalle has challenged us to mature, mature beyond the young boys we were in 2015. The growth we have seen over the past four years, whether it be physically, emotionally, or academically, extends well beyond our classroom experiences. It is the growth of our individual selves that has also led us to grow closer with one another as a community, in our Kairos small groups, our summer service trips, and even, if I may be so bold, our ex day community time. LaSalle has always been and is still a place for all of us athletes, students, performers, artists, come together on game nights to hype up the explorers, perfect our talents at the Jazz Assembly, which is arguably as exciting as any sporting event, and support one another through the tragic loss of one of our beloved teachers, Mr. Turner, after losing his battle with cancer. This brotherhood that we all grew akin to shaped us for the better and gave us our identity as a community for each other. The graduate profile houses some hefty expectations for the students of LaSalle. However, we've all come to appreciate the personal education we've received in addition to our academics. Entering freshman year, I was overwhelmed by all of these expectations. It is not lost on me that it is LaSalle, our community, our faculty, and our classmates that gave a quiet, scared, perfection-seeking freshman the tools to be standing in front of you today. For without LaSalle, I don't even know if I would have the courage to stand in front of my classmates, let alone the entire LaSallean community. And I'm sure there was a faculty member, a coach, a mentor, or a teacher who touched your heart and helped to shape you into the young man that LaSalle is sending forth today. What those role models were doing was more than just shaping us into versions of the graduate profile, but instead giving us a strong foundation for the rest of our lives. Not only have we shared memories and moments with our teachers and mentors, but we have also shared these relationships and moments with one another. It isn't just a specific day or a defining moment that makes our class, but rather the combination of all of these small moments leading up to our graduation today. Sometimes these moments are smaller, like when you joined a club or sport or activity that allowed you to thrive, or maybe the first time that you sat down at lunch with a couple of your buddies. Often these moments are bigger. 
winning the PCL in your respective sport, or exhibiting your semester-long masterpiece at the Arts Festival, or performing in the Spring Musical. Every one of those moments are so much more than just our winning or our losing. Each memory, each moment has given us an experience that has impacted us all in our own way, all connected through our LaSallean community, a community that will last with us beyond our college years and well into our adult lives, a community of brothers. For the last four years, every time we've left campus, the words leave to serve give us the last farewell before we head home. This sign tells us that we must go beyond our personal needs and wants to serve others. Mahatma Gandhi teaches that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. LaSalle has taught us that service is an integral part of life. Over the summer leading into my senior year, I had the opportunity to travel to Puerto Rico on a service trip. While abroad, we spent the day helping others to rehabilitate houses in the town of Juncos. Following the work done at the house, we were asked to share a lunch in the home of some of the locals in the town. It was there that I learned the importance of community, that service wasn't just about building houses or cleaning up trash, but rather service is making an impact on the lives of others. Our education here has been different. I mean, how many schools do you know that pride themselves on their notorious spring schedule or their library with an almost Soviet rule? <laughs> Honestly. The amount of times that I can be kicked out for moving a chair from one table to another, <laughs> now that's hashtag so much winning. <laughs> but while we also have been provided a great education in math, English, science, and history, we also learned how to be a decent person and live the mission of Jesus in our hearts. Using our faith as our guiding light is the most important lesson that we have learned thus far. The keystone that we need to go forward. I hope that every step of the way, each of you will find many things that you love and feel passionate about, whether it be college, career, family, faith, or service. A foundation, something that will secure you and keep you grounded. Every building has a solid foundation. The Empire State Building, Eiffel Tower, and even our beloved cafeteria, Glacier Student Center, <laughs> were built from the ground up. Brick by brick, beam by beam, chicken finger by chicken finger. The essence, the heart of these foundations provides a strong base upon which these structures stand. Our shared LaSallean foundations are made from being gentlemen, our service to others, and the brotherhood created at this institution. LaSalle has given us our bricks and our fair share of chicken fingers in order to send us into the clouds, making skyscrapers of our own. So let's take these last four years of knowledge friendships and growth, and move forward to serve and live our mission, our LaSallean mission in our hearts forever. winning. Look at all these winners right here. You did it. You did it. All right. So let's close out this beautiful ceremony today as we do with all things here. St. John Baptist de La Salle. Live Jesus in our hearts. All right. So now since you're all seated, if you could please stand once again. And we will sing the alma mater for the last time as a class. And let's do it louder than we did freshman year with this guy. 